Hey everybody, Ricky Knives here. Today, episode number 52, we're going to learn you how to make your very own diamond spray for a leather strop. Now, if you go on the Evil Bays or the Jungle website or wherever it is you go to go get your stuff, you'll notice that that diamond spray in like a one or two ounce bottle is quite a pretty penny. You know what I'm saying? So, this is a cheap way for you to do it yourself actually get results and it works uh, I've used it I've been using it for about two or three years and it works awesome so let me tell you how to do it what you need to do it with and that way you don't have to spend all that money you know what I'm saying so what I did is I went to the evil base and I bought here's my invoice here so I remember it's a lapidary diamond powder this is what it looks like and it's a uh it's a micron grip polished mono monocrystalline monocrystalline and it is a 1.5 micron which equals out to about 13,000 grit and it only cost me for this one little bitty vial that's going to make five ounces it cost me seven dollars and 95 cents Sure did. So, this I'm going to show you what you need to do it with. You got the powder, right? $7.95. You got a mason jar or just something with a lid. Doesn't really matter. I got this at the Dollar Gentral. I don't remember. Two bucks. So, we're less than 10 bucks into this. I went to the Wally World and I bought couple of these two ounce spray bottles right and great value bottle of water uh, it may somebody may tell you to use distilled or I don't know I'm using drink of water it's gonna work I've seen it happen it's gonna be fine okay so let's start it's like literally nothing to do so I got my vial what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, oh, hold on, I got an idea. I'm going to pour five ounces, which I'll measure with this thing because it's two ounces. I'll pour five ounces of water into this. Very careful of light. I'm going to spill it. Stop staring at me, you're making me nervous. Okay. There's two ounces. So I'm going to open this up. Two ounces. Engage. Now we need two more ounces. I should have just eyeballed this. But for the sake of science, there is four ounces. Let's do like a half a bottle because that's math. I went over. That's fine. All right, check it out. There's five ounces of water. Now I'm going to take this, open it up, and it looks like this. It's just powder. I'm going to pour it in here. Almost drop it in there. Try to get all of it out of there. Ah. Let's see. I'm gonna beat on it a little bit. See if I can break loose anything from the sides. All right, it's all in there. Now what I'm gonna do, and this is very scientific. I want you to pay attention. Own your mason jar. Close lid. I'm waiting. Okay, we're ready. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Shake it. You gotta turn it upside down and shake it once. 
I'm going to show you something. Look at all that. Don't, don't drink it, fellas. I know it looks good, but we're not going to drink it. Now, how am I going to get it back in this little bitty bottle? I don't know. We're going to, oh yeah, I got one of these dudes. Check it out. I got one of these syringes from the Wally Worlds. And I'm going to suck it out of here, put it into here. I need to bring y'all down a little bit. Here, let me bring you down so you can see what's going on for Pete's sake. You know what I'm saying? So, this is way too big of a thing. Okay. Spilled some. That's fine. Oh, right, this is going to take 50 days. Y'all don't do things the way I do things. Now, I'm not a genius. I'm not a scientist. I learned this from Joe Heaton. Joe used to have a YouTube channel called Learning Sharp. And you can still go back and look at that video. He's probably done a way better video than I did on this. And uh, he sent me some. And I've been using it and just ran out. Instead of asking him, hey, bud, you have any more of that stuff? I decided to take his advice, he made a video of it, right, and just do it my own self, like a big boy. Joe's a very smart man, he really is. I don't know if y'all have ever seen any of his videos, but I don't think he's made one in a couple of years, and uh, very cool guy though. Go check out that video if you're more into science. Then looking at this goofy video I'm making. All right, there it is. So I've got a whole bottle here, right? Now you're still gonna wanna shake it up. The reason being is because everything right here, it's a monocrystalline. So in other words, it's going to settle to the bottom, okay? All the powder is going to settle to the bottom. So every single time you use it, you're going to have to shake it up. Bring it back up here. Every time you use it, you're going to have to shake it up. So very easy to apply to your strop. All you need is an empty strop, right? I made this one, and it's easy to make a strop. Might even show you how to do that. Is I'm going to do it where you can see. I'm just going to spray. And you're gonna waste about 11.79 ounces of this. That's way too much. Way too much. Perfect. Okay. So you don't need that much, just spray it. Uh, you see it dries pretty fast. See, it's almost dry. It's drying before your very eyes. So just because I'm that way, I'm going to do it again. So, that's all you got to do. So, I've got that diamond spray put on my strop. Now, let it dry. I don't really think you have to let it dry completely before you start stropping on it. I've actually experimented and actually uh, used it while it was wet and it was fine. But I just try to get it white. Try to get the surface white. I know it's on there. Uh, this bottle should last you, this two ounce bottle should last you a while. And the reason I say that is because I've had it, I've used it, this is what I've been using. I use gunny juice. I use the green compound. I even use these, uh, uh, what do you, where do you get these from? Uh, Hobo Freight. I got the white. I got the green. I got the stuff that I got from, uh, Lowe's Craftsman. This is the, like, y'all seen this before. It's just green compound. This is good for like 1095 tools, stuff like that. But when you start to get into the higher carbide steels, the uh, harder steels, 
you need some diamonds. So this is gonna help you quite a bit. Look how much I have. I filled up that whole bottle and I got, uh, bought uh, how many bottles did I? I bought like five bottles, just in case. Because I got this literally for seven, I said seven ninety-five, two dollars at Jolly Gentral for this thing, and you could put in a cup. It don't really matter what you put in. You could put it in the water bottle if you wanted to. If you just have like five ounces in a water bottle, shake it up, pour it in one of these things, you're done. So if y'all have any questions, get with me. This is very good stuff. And like I said, this is a 1.5 ounce. They sell it in almost any grit. Uh, they have, down, I mean, down to 0 0.1 or 0 0.5. Yeah, 0 0.5 micron, which is uh, way up there in grit. Uh, like I said, this is a 1.5, 13,000 grit. And I think it's good stuff. It really is. So try it out for yourself. Uh, you're not going to be out that much and you'll have a lot you know what i'm saying so and you do want to shake it up and i think really if you're going to use this i'm going to give you a tip if you're going to do this get the lower i'm sorry the higher grit because the uh the others tend to clog up the spray bottle you know what i'm saying the nozzle it is a powder it's kind of like making Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying? So, except it doesn't taste near as well. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching my video. If you're not subscribed, hit the button. It's right there, the red one. And that way you can get all my videos. Uh, check, um, check out my Instagram as well, Richter underscore knives. I got a lot of shorts, a lot of pictures, uh, a lot of knives. A lot of nice stuff. A lot of EDC stuff. Leather stuff. Thanks for watching my video. And uh, this is Richter. Out.